Hi everyone, this video we're gonna bring in some icons that I've got in our exercise files. We're gonna try and match them so that they look, you know, the stroke widths kind of match this first one. And I'll show you how to replicate them across all our upboards. So yeah, let's dig in. All right, let's bring in some icons and get them all tidied up so that we can use them. Okay, so we're gonna use the long way still for the moment, using a little arrow there, place image. Okay, I want one, two and three. So I want icon share, user and home. I'm just holding down the command key on a Mac and just clicking them individually. On our PC, it's control. I'm gonna open them up. Now what's the key I hold down to make sure they don't go all squiggly? Shift, that's it. So I'm gonna get mine to a size. Don't worry about the size at the moment. And I'm gonna drag these in. Now what will end up happening is um, the, the size here will depend on the last kind of stroke size that you're working with. So sometimes you might drag in and they might be thick like this or might be super thin. One thing we need to do though is get them all to be very similar. Okay, I've got them kind of a similar-ish sort of size. Um, what I wanna do though is scale them down. Okay, and you've gotta decide here whether you're just gonna use the normal selection tool or our fancy scale tool. Okay, it'll depend on what you wanna do. So in my case, you see the strokes are kind of staying at that two point. So it's kind of getting, if I get them down to about there, <laughs> they're kind of close. Or you can use the scale tool, okay, and just scale them down. They all go down and we can adjust them afterwards. I want them down to about a size-ish and get them into that position. So import them, get them down to kind of this position and we're gonna try and match these now. Now, you gotta decide whether, I'm twirling all these up. These are frames, just like groups with stuff in them. If you're happy to work like this now, we'll just leave them there. You can pull these out and delete the frames. Okay, what I'm gonna do is leave them. So my share icon in here with it selected, you can see in here, I need to go inside of it because I wanna click on this thing, came in with a group inside of it. But with it selected, actually I can go in here and I can see the stroke color. In my case, I don't need to change it because it's matching what else I've got. Um, and But the stroke width is about two. That's what I used here and I wanna try and match these all. Okay, so same with this one. Um, sometimes so I can't see the stroke yet, so I need to go inside the frame and click on both of these. I'm holding shift to select both of them and it's scaled down to like 0.5, you can see there. So I'm gonna just type in two. This one here, this is not a terrible thing, but the way this has been drawn is that it's not a nice little stroke. It's actually a fill. If I double click it into good editing mode, it's not like lines that are on top of each other. For an illustrator person from way back, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not and kind of new to this vector world, you will just find some of them that are made up of strokes. And this one is actually made up of a fill. Okay, it makes it a little bit harder to adjust. So for this one, to make it thinner, I literally have to go and do stuff like this, which is no fun at all. <laughs> so you might just download a different one or just draw one. We're gonna draw, you could easily redraw that with the line tool. Okay, so I'm gonna undo. Double click to get out. And scale wise, these probably need to come down a little bit. And this is where I don't want to be using my scale. Okay, if I use scale now and scale it down to the right size, it might look like this one here. But if I go inside of it, double click, you can see it's no longer two, it's 1.8. That can catch you out. Probably nobody's gonna notice, but I notice, you'll notice. So we're just gonna use the selection tool to do the scaling. And it means that holding shift, it means it'll retain being uh, uh, two point stroke. You get what I mean? Oh, broke that. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> it's broken forever. Okay, I can't live with it. Wait there. All right, I'm back. Um, so what we're gonna do now is get those three in, get them kind of looking the same. I feel like this one maybe is not looking exactly the same. Don't spend too long in there, Dan. This is just a wireframe. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna show you another, not trick, but a, a useful thing in Figma is I'm gonna delete these, okay? Because what I wanna do is have that on all of them. So what I'm gonna do is copy it, okay? So from this first one, click on the name of product details and just hit paste. So I'm using Control C and V on a Mac. You'll use, con ooh, that's a PC. So PC uses Control C and V and a Mac uses Command C and a V. So you just Command V on all of these and gets it back exactly where it got it off that first uh, frame, which is cool. So do that. I'm not gonna spend too long getting all the spacing perfect on this because we're gonna have to go and test this on a phone because like, are they too big on a phone? Probably. Are they far enough apart? Probably not. 
Okay, my big old fat fingers is gonna end up touching more than one icon. So we'll do that when we actually test on our phone. But we've found our icons, we've got them in there, we've got them looking kind of the same. That'll be good for now. Let's get into the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.